All right, this is in response to um, five reasons you should keep away from him. Um, yeah, if um, if he doesn't like, huh? Let me see. Oh, one um, man with kids. <clears throat> It's okay to date some men with kids, but if he has a crazy ass baby mama, stay the fuck away. Stay the fuck away. I'm telling you. I know from experience. Stay away. Um, like um, like Chris Starr said. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I'm trying to do a video here. Some people. But anyways, like I'm saying. Um. Yeah. Um. Like she said about, um, they're distracting me. I'm trying to think, but um, like I was saying, if the um, let me get back on track right quick. Oh yeah, um, if the person um has a baby mama, and they're crazy. Like she was saying about um, the person that's already in their life that's been there for a while and they're like up here and you're just now getting there. Like she said, you have no worth. <laughs> you have, like she said, what have you done for me lately? Not shit. Because <laughs> you just came. So it's like, shh, he's always going to put the, I mean, you should always put your kids before a adult, but he's always going to put her before you. I mean, the the ones that are crazy or act, you know, always calling your phone, all, you know, all the other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, I don't walk away from because he's always going to put her before you. He's always going to find a reason to have to go see her for her child, for the child. And they're going to use the child for excuse every time. So, yeah, just, just say, like me, now I just say no, no, no. Ain't no trying to give a chance to that workout, no. Okay, number two, the flashy guy. Um, I call the flashy guy as in, you know what I'm saying, he got a big ego. I mean, it's okay to date guys with big egos, but the flashy, flashy types, you know what I'm saying, this is, he flashes his money when he's in the mall or something, or y'all are somewhere, you know, he takes out all his cash. You know, nigga ain't got to take all his cash out. You know, you can just take out what's, what's for you to pay for your bill. You don't have to take it out for everybody to see. You know what I'm saying, you can get robbed like that. Like, I've dated I've, I've dated the flashy flashy type before just for the record you know what I'm saying so I know or whatever you know and I told this nigga you know somebody rob you I'm gone like for real cause you're flashing your money like psh, like you shit and stuff and it's like psh, you know you can't do that you know I, I never show my money I even keep my wallet inside of my pocket book and I'd be like <laughs> like I don't let I mean I don't even carry no big pocket book cause I don't even want people to think that I that I got you know, whatever. I don't want to get nobody a reason to rob me. But anyways, yeah, the flashy, flashy types. You know, they gotta put up an image. You know, because everybody expects him to stay fly. And you know, he gotta have the best clothes. His woman gotta have the best clothes. She gotta keep her hair done. She gotta stay on top of game. And me personally, my ass got tired. Shit, I was like, man, I'm tired of you know what I'm saying, having to look certain ways all the time. You know. Sometimes you just want to be free, like you know, it's okay. It's okay for a woman to want to be free sometimes, you know. But um, I mean that goes back to the other video that I made about um the women much needed advice, you know. It's good to stay looking good, but you know sometimes it is, it is okay to be free, and it's like um you want to do certain things. And they're like, he's like, no, no, they, you know, guys that are flashy, flashy, they kind of, in a way, try to change you. And just like D Storm said, you can't change nobody or whatever. Cause I've had niggas tell me, you know, saying, oh, I'm gonna get you. I mean, the flashy, flashy type nigga, actually. Oh, I'm gonna get you up out in your Walmart clothes and get you in some cool jeans, some rock wear, and all that other shit. And I'm like, nigga, ain't nothing wrong with my clothes. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with shopping at Walmart. I mean, what the hell? Or whatever, and, you know, like, I mean, who are you, God? I mean, shit, ain't nothing wrong with my clothes. But anyways, 
Yeah, the flashy, flashy types, they don't care about you. I mean, they care about your feelings a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? They mostly only care about themselves and how people view them. And it's always going to be about his image. It's never going to be about you. So, yeah. Yeah. Bye. I mean, if you're a gold digger, you might can hang with it or whatever. Y'all deserve each other. But flashy, flashy type niggas, no. Stay away from them. Um, three, um, the guy who always calls at night. Yeah. I've had a girl say that before. Yeah. Excuse me. The guy that always calls at night, stay away from him because he only wants to see you at night. I mean, there's a reason why he calls you at night. Oh, what you doing? Can I come by and chill? Hell no. It's like, what, 11, 12 o'clock at night? Hell no. I'm about to go to sleep and take, take your ass to sleep. You know what I'm saying? What you want to come by and chill with me for or whatever? Hold on one second. <sighs> My bad, I'm a single mom, so yeah, they was in there watching cartoons and she came out. I don't like to groan talk around her, so anyways, back to what I was saying, yeah, he calls you at night for, you know, he calls you at night for um, a reason, you know what I'm saying, he just want to get in and get out or whatever, so it's like, yeah, stay away from him. He doesn't want to be seen with you in the daytime. He doesn't want anybody to see you. And also, it's more than five for me. But also, like she said, she said, if he doesn't want to introduce you to important people in his family, then, you know what I'm saying, technically, you're not important. Yeah, you're not important or whatever. Because I know if a guy's important to me, you know what I'm saying, I want to tell the world about it. It's like, yeah, my man, my man. This is my man right here. He be how yeah, mm hmm but it's like, if they're like pushing you to the back, like, I mean, it's like this bowl. He's like tossed you like to the back. It's like, no, you know, I mean, if y'all watch the game, you know, like Malik, he didn't want nobody to know he like, like fat girls. And you're, you're the fat girl to the Malik, to Malik, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't want you to be seen. <clears throat> And also, if his friends don't know about you, and that you know, you know, because I've been out with people and they've accidentally bumped into each other, and they're like, "Oh, he didn't tell you about me," and they're like, <laughs> "It's like, damn, like I'm gonna see y'all later." <laughs> and also, um, let me see what else kind of guy to stay away from. Oh, uh, the controlling ones. The controlling ones, okay, I've seen some guys be in control because sometimes that's their culture or whatever. And some guys are just like outrageously controlling. Like, they want to control everything. Where you going? What you can hang with? Uh, what kind of underwear you wear? Nah. <laughs> They want to control everything. Like, stay away from those because, you know, those are kind of like the undercover man, man, women, undercover women beaters and stuff. Like, stay away from them because they, they get verbally abusive because you don't want to do what they want you to do. I mean, you don't do what they want you to do or whatever. <clears throat> and they get verbally abusive. And then in a while, they're going to get abusive like beat your ass or whatever so yeah stay away from controlling some controlling men or whatever um let me see oh and like also uh, I don't know if I should say that one well I guess it really depends how you are um, I was gonna say one, but never mind. But yeah, <clears throat> that was my five reasons of the ones you should keep away from. All right, I'll holler.